The following segment is sponsored by Parents Empowered. The holidays are the perfect opportunity to spend more time with your kids doing fun-filled activities. Rob is here with advice for parents. Rob, thanks so much for coming. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. All right, out here in the cold to talk about a very important topic. Why is now such an important time for parents to do alcohol-free activities with their kids? This is a great time because kids are out of school. Kids are excited for the holiday season. Families are together, and that's the most important thing. Families are together, so it's a great opportunity for parents to talk to their kids about not drinking underage. So how do parents do that? I'm sure parents know they have to talk to their kids about this, but it can kind of be maybe an awkward conversation. Maybe they're a little worried. How can they get that conversation started? It doesn't have to be awkward. I like to tell parents, think of things around you that would lead to a conversation of alcohol. If you have alcohol in your home, that's a great way to talk about it with your kids, saying, I don't want you to drink until you're 21. If you're driving around town, maybe you're going to see uh, Christmas lights or just having something fun to do outside and you see a billboard, take that opportunity to, to introduce to them your family rules that you don't want them to drink. You want their brains to be protected until they're 21. And so we talked, we're talking about kids. Is there a specific age that parents should start talking to their kids about underage drinking? Yeah, research has shown that kids start developing their attitudes on alcohol between the ages of 9 and 13. So that's kind of our magic window. Let's start talking to kids about alcohol. Tell them the harms of what alcohol can do to a developing brain. It affects a kid's brain differently than it affects an adult's brain. So that 9 to 13 window, that's a perfect time to talk. And getting that open conversation so your kids feel like they can talk to you too, I imagine, is really important. Yes, yeah, super important. That's why we say do things together as a family so that you can develop a strong bond with your kids. Because once that bond is there, then you're able to have those open conversations. Take an opportunity to, t to ask them questions. What do you think about alcohol? Uh, have you ever been offered alcohol? Or what would you do if you were offered alcohol? Really make it a conversation, a back and forth, so you're not just talking at them. Definitely. Kids love it when you play in their world. And that's why developing these bonds, doing fun things like coming and visiting the Gallivan Center, doing ice skating. There's so many fun things to do as a family around these times and take those family opportunities to talk to your kids. What are some other activities you have for parents, other ideas that you have for parents to do this time of year? Yeah, play games, right? So kids are out of school. Um, even if it's video games, right? Kids love playing video games. You may not be the best video game player as a parent, um, but take the opportunity. Kids love to play in their world and you'll have an opportunity to speak from yours if, you, if you're able to kind of take those chances, even if it's a video game. I love it. Rob, where can we go for more information? We have some great resources at parentsempowered.org. Also on our Facebook page, Parents Empowered. Great resources um, for parents and, and for families of, of all kinds. Love it. Rob, thank you so much for stopping by out here in the cold and giving us such great advice to help our kids out. Thank you. Thank you so much.